T-Rex with feathers. Okay, let's draw it and see what happens. Hi, my name's Bill Flowers and I've been a wildlife artist for more than 30 years now. And in this video I'm going to take you through some of the techniques and tricks that I use as an artist and maybe even give you some facts along the way. And in this video, especially for America, I've got some very important facts and information to give America. First of all, it's always better to draw from real life. So here I am in Sugarland, Texas, drawing this T-Rex of some description. You know, there's about 30 different species of T-Rex, or Tyrannosaur, I should say. So drawing from real life, drawing from my sketch pad, is what I take into the studio. I'm going to use the skull of this Tyrannosaur as the basis for this illustration because it's cool. I'm going to give it a nice big eyeball there so I'm putting a few little features yeah. but keep in mind that the foundation of this is based on a real skull and the best way to do that is to get out of the studio get down to the local museum and draw these things from real life. You can't beat that. Now I'm going to feather this guy out. There's all different types of feathers too. The feathers that uh, birds have that fly are probably the more advanced. The emus have more primitive type of feathers. And so these emus really are a bit like dinosaurs. So I'm basing this guy on an emu. I'm going to give it a big eye. Now one of the things, when you give an animal a large eye, kind of looks like a baby. It looks like a juvenile, like a young one. I was almost going to call this young uh, Tyrannosaur. However, it is believed that the Tyrannosaurs had the largest eye of any land animal. So this is probably where Jurassic Park got it wrong because they had exceptionally good eyesight. Whether you're moving, not moving, they would have seen you. And also when I look at the emus, they have big eyes too, so... Let's sort of base it a little bit on an emu, just for the fun of it. Because we don't really know sort of what colour they are. We don't know even what feathers they are. I'm just sort of taking the emu as being a bit more of a prehistoric type of feather, as opposed to probably the flying birds that have more defined feathers. Putting a big crop of fur on top of the head like an emu could be part of a display. But I just love the sort of the messy feathers that emus have. And emus run pretty fast too. It's believed that the T-Rex would run about as fast as an Olympic sprinter. And for a long distance too. Which is pretty amazing because some animals can run slow for a long distance and catch up to things and exhaust them. Whereas other animals just can sprint really fast for a short distance and get exhausted. But the T-Rex, it is believed, could do both. Could run at a good pace for a long distance. That would certainly be able to run down its prey. I can't run as fast as an Olympic sprinter. So if we had a Flintstone scenario where I lived with dinosaurs, I think I'd be a goner. Now the teeth. The teeth are sort of rounded, kind of like a Tasmanian devil. What I mean by that, you get sort of dagger-like teeth, teeth that are made for slashing and cutting, and then you get rounded ones like Tasmanian devils, they're more like bullets. Bullets meant to penetrate and smash through something, whereas sharp teeth are meant for just slashing off flesh. So this would have smashed into things like a crocodile. So you get this large, fast, really good eyesight, bird-like creature with crocodile teeth. So I've been using Indian ink and a paintbrush for most of this. Now I'm going into a little bit of watercolour, chucking that on there. With the emus, I go out into the wild and sketch the emus. Again, if you can go out in the wild and sketch, it's great. You get that experience, you get that feeling, more so than you do with just photographs. Always good to get out there. Look, if you can't get out in the wild, you can always go to a zoo. Another great place to sketch. 
I'm using a little bit of gouache here for the white. I want to make the intensity of the eye. Try and make this a scary looking monster. Now what I'm going to have to say here, this is for all the Americans, it's emu, not emu. Moo is what a cow makes. Moo. Not emu. Okay. Not emu. No. It's not emu. It's em you. You, like I said, YouTube. You don't say moo tube, YouTube. Em you. Look, I can forgive you for Tuesday. I can, you know, we don't mind you saying tomato. You say lots of strange things. I don't even mind if you drive on the wrong side of the road. But I have to draw the line at saying emu. It's emu. Take it from an Aussie. Australian authority here saying, don't you dare say ever call it an emu. Getting back to the teeth, uh, it's believed that T. rex teeth have put holes through Triceratops bones. Now it's unlikely that T. rex would take on a fully grown Triceratops but they certainly would have attacked the sick, probably the young. I mean, we're just guessing that from what carnivores do. Carnivores like to take out the weak and the sick, which actually improves the health of the animals that they hunt. It's kind of nice how nature balances that out. If the weak and the sick, especially the sick, if they get taken out, disease gets taken out, and then that animal survives, or that species survives, it survives to reproduce, and create more food for the predator. So that's pretty much how nature works then, so why wouldn't it work with dinosaurs? I'd like to take a quick moment just to thank you for your support. I'll, you know, the likes, the thumbs up, thanks for subscribing, thanks for the feedback, and I love the way we're getting a sense of community here, whereas some of the stuff you guys share in the comments about the materials you use, well, you know, I look that up and even though I've been doing this for 30 years, I find it very useful. So thank you for your support, and leave more comments down there. Love your comments. Now let's finish this T-Rex Emuosaurus. It's been great fun drawing feathers on a T-Rex. It looks like he's got a big mohawk. Um, did they look like this? Oh, I don't know. Probably not, because I'm just guessing. But with dinosaur, there's... There's a lot of guesswork, and uh, in years to come, we're going to find out more information, and that'll be thrown in the mix as well. There are days I do miss my old childhood dinosaurs, and I think I will do a dinosaur video, you know, with a bit of art of my childhood dinosaurs at some stage. But for now, here he is T Rex for Feathers. Well, that's the end of that video. Next one's here. Like, subscribe, click to it, or don't. It's not like I'm your dad or anything. Emu!